Welcome to BIM Parametrics. This is Mohammad Sharuk, and in today's video of Revit Architecture, we are going to see how we can create a very simple parametric table in Revit. Now, what does a parametric table means? It means like we can create a table which can be customized to suit any space having and having a lot of abilities such as we can change its length, we can change its width, height and we can even change its like movement. So to start with, let's start with a new family. So our first step is we go to new, let's go to application menu, new and we go for a family. We select a metric furniture template. Now this is our family environment and what you see in the work, uh, workspace here is two reference planes. So we'll start working with the top of the table. So for that, first of all, we will create some uh, kind of a skeleton model using a reference uh, planes. So we'll just go here and click on reference plane. So this area should define the top of the table. Now, let's create, let's add some parameters in the reference plane itself. So let's go to the align dimension and we'll make it equal. Similarly here in the width and make it equal. Next, we'll add the length parameter. We'll add a dimension first using align dimension again. So the first reference plane then the second one now let's add the width select the first and the second and put the width here now our next step as we have uh, you have seen in my earlier videos we have to create this dimension into a parametric dimension for that we will select this dimension we go to the label click on this create parameter and let's make it length for a while we will keep it as a type parameter only just click ok and let's come back to the second dimension we select this one and again let's convert this into as a width parameter now for our, our initial design what we will do is we will keep the length of the table as 2 meters and width of the table as 1 meter so let's change it to 2 meters so just select on this length dimension and then click and make it 2000 mm. Similarly for the width we just click here and then 1000. So our skeleton model of the reference plane is ready. Now to create the roof, oh, my mistake, sorry. So to create the top of the table we go to the create option, we select extrude and then we take rectangle and start from the top left corner till the bottom right corner and take care to, don't forget to lock this up we want our geometry to be in uh, attached with the reference plane so that whenever we change the dimension the geometry should also move when this is done click finish let's go and click on realistic mode all right so this is the top view of your tabletop now to see it from the elevation we go to the elevation view let's go to the back or front all right this is the front view and then now here what do we have is our table right now it is sitting on the reference level now we need to move our table to the at a higher uh, level so for that we'll go to create and we put a reference plane again from the elevation view so let's put a elevation a reference plane here all right now what I want is I want to specify a dimension which should govern the height of the table so let's do the same thing go to modify select align dimension select reference plane and select the second plane here and then let's convert this dimension into a height parameter of the table make it more look more clear will make it look realistic or if you want you can make it consistent color next we'll attach we select the extrude and we s attach this top of the table to the reference plane just now we created now 
we'll just move this extrusion part also from the bottom now what do we want is we need to create another reference plane and this reference plane will decide the table top thickness so for that again we go to create use a reference plane and next we add a dimension again so the first reference plane and the second and then convert this into again a parametric dimension and we'll call it as table top so let's make a uh, table thickness so table thickness <coughs> and click OK now if you want to reduce the size of your dimensions uh, of your text and dimensions what you can do instead of doing any other thing you simply you can come to the view control bar and then click and make it 1 is to 10 that's it now what I want is the thickness should be let it be like 100 and now I want my bottom of the extrusion to be attached with the table thickness reference plane so we just bring it here and then lock it up and similar uh, similar thing I, we need to do it here also which I forgot so I'll bring it back down again and then select it and then attach it now once this is done we'll check our parameters whether it is working or not so in the height parameter we can try it let's this is right now one meter so we try to make it 800 and let's see if the dimensions are perfect and everything is working fine this entire table top should come down bingo so it's working and table thickness we can try again just click let's let's suppose if you want to make it 50 all right that's also correct now let's go and check here whether our length and width parameters are working so I can go to reference level and let's go and check the length so if it is 1500 all right this is also working let's check for the width 500 all right so we go back to our initial dimensions now our tabletop is ready now the next step is we need to create a we need to create four legs for our table so for this again we go to the floor plan reference level for ease I'll just make it to hidden lines and now to create before creating the uh, legs here on the each corner will add some again reference planes which will act as the guideline or the skeleton structure for the table so let's go to create reference plane so let's add one plane here then second plane on the top third plane on the bottom and the last one on the right now next step is you need to define the dimension so our leg is going to be square so we need to give two dimensions here so let's select align dimension so starting from this edge one and then the second one and let's add another dimension so these two dimension will decide the dimension of the leg now do the same thing for the this square for this leg let's select align dimension now in this case we need to add just one dimension because this parameter this uh, width is going to cover by this particular dimension here so just select and add it and repeat the same thing for the other one and in this case we don't need to add any dimensions because this can be governed by this can be constrained by another dimensions now again if you want to reduce the size thickness uh, size of your dimensions you can just come to the view control bar and then click 1 is to 5 okay let's make it 1 is to 10 all right now next we need to define we need to create a parameter for the leg thickness so for that I'll select one of the align dimension and then select create parameter and we'll put it leg thickness now let's suppose our leg thickness should be 100 
So the same thickness I want to, or the same parameter I would like to apply for all of the dimensions present here. So instead of creating another new parameter, what we can do is we can select the dimension and from the drop down list we can select the leg thickness option from here. So as you can see, it created a perfect square. Repeat the same procedure. And the last one. That's it. So as you can see, all our four corners are being properly constrained. Now the, the next step is we need to create a geometry using extrude. So let's go to create extrusion use rectangle and then from corner to corner you can create a square once this is done you can click finish and let's come to the consistent color and to see it from the elevation we click on front now as you can see the height is still not defined so what we will do we want our the top of the leg should be always attached to the bottom of the table so simply we can drag it down till this particular reference plane which we have created before and then lock it up now we can let's go and check it whether this parameter is working perfectly or not so what we'll do we click on height We make it 500. So as you can see, the legs are moving as per the height constraint. So let's make it 1000. You see, it's still, again, it's moving. So let's switch it back to the initial dimension. Let's go to the 3D view. Now you can see your, our table is created and we can, once again, we can check uh, all the parameters so for that we can go to the family types and che let's check it here so if let's suppose if you want to create the length to be 1500 or let's make it like 3500 apply yes all the legs are moving along with the table let's change it to the width that's it okay now what I want to do is I want to create a formula so if you want you can create a formula or you can leave it as it is so in case you want to create a formula in my case what I want is the width of the table should be always the half of the length so in that case what we can do is let's click on length let's switch back to the initial dimension first of all so it should be 2000 and width was 1000 so as you can see we are trying to keep the width of the table as half of the length so simply you can select the length parameter name copy it in the formula of the in the width uh, row you in the under, under the formula column you can paste the length divide by 2 now how does it work let's check it if I'm going to make my length to be 3000 you want that automatically the width should become 1500 so let's see if I click apply it should change it bingo so this is how you can attach a formula to your length and width along with that you can attach a formula for the thickness uh, for the leg thickness and the width so this I will keep it for you you can try from your side and you, you can check whether it's working or not if you have any doubt let me know in the comments I will try to solve it so the last thing what we will do is we just try to add a material so let's suppose we want to add a wood material to our table top and the legs so just select the top under the material category just click on material I'll create a new material here and rename it to wood just click here and then under Autodesk I want wood so let's suppose I just want to use this particular birch natural medium gloss just add it close apply and click OK do the same thing here wood now it's not the material is not visible the reason being it is under realistic uh, it's not realistic so let's go to the view control bar click on realistic bingo 
so that's it your parametric table is ready so in the next video what we are going to do we are going to create an opening here and we are going to add a glass and then we will see how it is going to perform with a parametric uh, nature so thank you very much for watching please subscribe my channel thank you